This is the Onyx Books Tab Ultra. 10.3 inch e-ink card a screen, 227 ppi, front light with warm light, capacitive and Wacom stylus, octa-core processor, 128 gigs onboard storage, 4 gigs of RAM, Android 11, and a whopping 6,300 milliamp battery, which means this has some of the highest battery capacity we've seen on any e-paper product. You guys have been watching the promotional videos we've been releasing and that they have been releasing they no longer say like a tablet unlike any tablet they say make a difference now and just from seeing this on paper it does sound like they are they've also changed the overall look of the box look at that they have a nice little x pattern design very high quality kind of designer bag-esque look on the back is very simplistic they got rid of the standing multi-language backing and let's look at the cardstock they're using it's pretty standard business as usual black on the outside and white on the inside now this is said to open a different way and you can see even when fully sandwiched it looks like a sandwich cookie when you have the signature orange stripe which they honestly have kind of been using here or there recently they haven't been using it all that much like they have the past gen it does open this way so we're gonna crack this open and look at this. This is a very hard card stock and how people package their units really says a lot about the company themselves. It really does. The foam insert to prevent from damage, the super thick card stock on the outside, the fact that it wraps around and it's finished. It all makes a difference. And as they say, make a difference on the book's logo. So that's fantastic. This is heavy. Wow, that is really heavy right out of the gates. This is supposed to be a hyper tablet, so it's completely forgiven. This is not meant to be a quaderno or something lightweight. There is nothing lightweight about this. This is this feels capable the second you pick it up. That's the first thing. And it looks like it has a camera bump because we have a huge dip in the box, which we've never seen before. We've seen cameras on e-paper devices dating as far back as Pocketbook and iFlytech, but just saying about that. So you want to keep all this information because this has a corresponding serial number, it's your quick start guide, your warranty information, multiple languages. Hold on to that. It's very important. I don't know what pen they're going to use. A lot of their pens have been kind of all over the place. I think it's the Pen 2 Pro as their advertisement says. And this looks like it is. It is the Pen 2 Pro in, I can't see through the plastic, but it looks like blackish green, I would imagine, because they have had multiple colors. So it is looking like just a black, but the cap is from the blackish green. So it's just using the standard Wacom tips. I would have liked to see them go back to the conical nibs that the Air was using. And in fact, even the Air 2, which they just released, uses is the white pen but not the conical nibs we'll get into that into the review if you don't know what we're talking about you have a sim card removal tool for the expandable storage right there and you do have the usb cable and all of that now for the device itself you know it's honestly pretty rare to see devices with expandable storage or sd cards or as they call it trans flash nowadays it just it's few and far in between so there is that camera bump it is fairly substantial for or an ebook reader that's really sticking out there on this kind of three layered tiered cake here i absolutely love that pattern what stylistic points they get for that it's textured it looks beautiful it repeats it's appealing to the eyes that is so nice i commend them for that i also commend them for being more squared off kind of like a sony xperia kind of thing it's finally very squared off and pretty rigid on the side it's it's a pretty strong 90 degree angle when it comes to the overall construction that looks like an all new material as well they've gone away from the blackish green and the plastic back to using a cool aluminum very nice you have speaker up top with a power button you on the side you have the pen snap which has their kind of insignia of this little dual circle thing it tells you where to snap it the other speaker is on that side with a USB-C kind of industry standard to put it off to the corner and there's your trans flash right there and on the side it's completely clean except for the five copper pins that connects to the keyboard that we will also show you right now reason being because although it doesn't come with the unit okay I'm gonna forgive them because there's a keyboard in here but this is a heavy case this is a very heavy case 
This is heavier than some devices we've used in its entirety. I love that books button. That is a amazingly unparalleled artistic touch to have that as your enter key. I love that. Wow. And their signature orange, which they've kind of been abandoning lately, as we've said, but it's got the USA layout. It doesn't have any additional information on the actual alphabetized keys. So there's no shifts or functions on any of those outside of just capitalization. And this does just snap in there via magnets. We will show you that in the full review. Of course, this is everything that comes in the box with the brand new books tab ultra, the be all and all of tablets we would have kind of awarded that to the dasung not e-reader but this one's got note taking this one's just got so much more going for it stay tuned for a full review coming up